everyone, this is Sally Harris, and today I want to talk to you about how you can emotionally let go of your adult child while still showing them love. So the, for those of you that are new here, I am a mom who believes that every mom deserves a support system during this um, rough waters with your child. So whatever your child's going through right now, I know 100% that it's affecting you. And um, so I'm here on this channel to share some information with you and I do one-on-one -on -one and group coaching, which um, I would be happy to talk with you if that's something that you're interested in. So today I have three tips on how to emotionally let go, um, but still loving them because a lot of people think that you have to do one or the other, where if you're not willing to let go of the situation and let go of that control, like how do you love them because it's too painful? And so I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, Number one is to realize and admit. Some of us can realize, but we don't admit that we are not in control. I feel like a broken record with this, but this is definitely something that it took me a long time to grasp a hold of. And I think that's why I'm repeating it a lot because I want you to get it. I want you to just admit that to yourself, that you are not in control and your anxiety will then go down, okay? So when your anxiety goes down, you're going to realize, um, and once you realize that and the anxiety goes down, you are going to respond differently. You're going to communicate differently, all of these things. So number two is to love them for who they are and where they're at. You may not agree with their situation. You may not agree with their lifestyle. You may not agree with who they're with or who they're not with, that they're doing drugs alcohol, maybe they're not working, maybe they're failure to launch, all of these things. And I don't mean just sit by, um, if they're living in your home, that's a whole nother story. But if it's an adult child living on their own and these things are happening in their life and you're trying to control them, it's not going to work. So love them for who they are. Love them where they're at. It's really easy, especially nowadays, for people to get all up in arms about the different, um, you know, battles that our children are dealing with. And it can be very scary and intimidating and sad. And I'm not going to deny that because I've been there. But what I do know is going to number three is that you have to focus on the person because ragging at your child, dictating what they should or shouldn't do, telling them that that's not the way I raised you. Maybe you raised them in a Christian home. Maybe they've run from that. Maybe they're choosing alternative lifestyle. Again, you do not have to agree with it to love them. And so it's really important. So I ask you as a mom, something that I had to do and I had to check myself first. So how am I, how am I talking to them? How am I responding to um, text messages and phone calls and emails or, or whatnot? However, whatever your communication mode is with them. I did a video some time back about not being a one time a one topic parent. Many times when our children are going through situations, whenever we do see them or talk to them, because it's on the forefront of our mind, we decide that we're going to bombard them with questions about, well, did you do this? Well, did you fill this out? Did you go, did you call so-and-so? Did you do, you know, all of these things because they're running around in our head, our children do not want to hear that, okay? It's different when they're a teenager and you're guiding them on steps. As we're not talking about teenagers here. We're talking about adult children. And so therefore, unless they're asking you for your opinion and your advice, I strongly recommend that you don't give it. And I would be curious to see how that works for you because I know it worked for me. Again, every situation is a little bit different, right? You're different. Your child's different all of these things. But at the end of the day, our children do not want to be um, dictated and, and you know constantly ragging at them about how, what they should do or could do or what they're not doing. So love them where they're at. Love them for the child that they are, your child, and not the issue that they're dealing with. And so if you can try to separate those two things, it can really help. So I hope that helped you. Um, if you have um, any comments, as always, feel free to leave them below and the Calendly link to my calendar if you want to have a 30-minute conversation to discuss coaching options to see if that would be a good fit, if we're a good fit for one another, I would be happy to talk to you.